guys are pushing themselves hard in. It's amazing to watch these guys finish. They are animals, man. Every one of them is a beast. The uh, crown jewel of uh, the entire season. Crosses the Continental Divide a couple different times, 13,000 feet of elevation gain. If you talk to the majority of these guys, the hardest 100 miles most of them have done. Great! Alright, here comes our next rider, coming in with a head of steam here. It is Aaron Provence from Boulder. He's riding for Natural Glaciers. or the Breck 32, you need to make your way to the ice rink. And from there, it's game on. Turn to the person next to you, give them a high five, thank them for coming out and racing with you. Look out for each other today, and uh, it's all about having fun, being safe. Three, <laughs> two and a half, one, <laughs> go! Anybody need water? You can do this. <laughs> Let's go. We're aid station number four by the dredge, and we just re-energizing these riders here as they make make the last 12 miles to Carter Park, or to Carter Park, and then up Boreas Pass, down Boreas Pass, up Boreas Pass, and back to Carter Park. It's top 20 miles. <laughs> yeah, Dan. Get it done, buddy. The trails are so good. Side, they get to hit um, Baker's Tank and then the new Aspen Alley Trail is just super awesome. Awesome. My best race in years. This, this, is, this is one of the highlights of the summer for sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, Breck 100 is a, one of the four races in the Rocky Mountain Endurance Race Series. It's kind of the test of all the riders' skills. you got to race it. We call him Mr. Breckenridge 100 Jr. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was Captain uh, <laughs> Breckenridge 100 you know, Jr. But that's Cap okay. Junior Captain. <laughs> <laughs> well, people come from all over the country themselves. It's fun, but long, not, a little over 11 hours. For me. I've done the 68 five times. It's my first time doing the hunt. The first lap took me a little longer than I was expecting, but um, I've done the second and third lap a bunch of times, so I kind of knew what to expect with those. But I actually felt really good on the third lap, and I had a little juice left in the tank at the end, which is like, you know, you wish you had done the first lap a little harder so you could have gotten it done a little earlier. It's all done now. Time to eat.